Problem number 235. Problem number 236. Problem number 235. A timber column, 8 inches by 8 inches in cross section, is reinforced on each side by a steel plate 8 inches wide. Kasing lapad lang ng section ng column and T inches thick. Determine the thickness T so that the column will support an axial load of 300 kips without exceeding a maximum timber stress of 1,200 PSI or maximum steel stress of 20 KSI. The moduli of elasticity are 1.5 times 10 to the 6 PSI per timber and 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI per steel. The given values on this problem is the allowable stress of timber, 1,200 PSI, or PSI is also pound per inch squared, allowable stress of steel, 20,000 PSI, modulus of elasticity of timber, 1.5 times 10 to the 6 PSI, modulus of elasticity of steel, 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI, at ang hinahanap is yung thickness ng steel plate na kung saan hindi mo pwedeng i-exceed yung allowable stress ng timber or yung allowable stress ng steel. Due to this compressive force na 300 kips, magkakaroon ng deformation or shortening yung section. At yung deformation ng timber is also equal sa deformation ng steel. From that condition, magkakaroon tayo ng equation na kung saan yung deformation ng timber is equal sa deformation ng steel. Katulad na yung pinakita ko sa preceding problem, Deformation is equal to stress multiplied by L or original length over modulus of elasticity. Gamitin natin yung formula na to sa nagawa natin equation. Stress of timber over L over modulus of elasticity of timber is equal to the stress of steel times L over modulus of elasticity of steel. Since same lang naman yung length ng timber at ng steel, makakross out natin yung L sa equation na to. Stress of timber over its modulus of elasticity, 1.5 times 10 to the 6, is equal to the stress of steel over its modulus of elasticity, 29 times 10 to the 6. Arranging the equation, the stress of steel is equal to 58 over 3 stress of timber. Sa paggawa ng final equation, kahit ganito mo siya isulat, walang problema doon. Halos same lang to ng concept na inexplain ko sa previous problem. Gamitin ko yung equation na to. Kapag unang na-reach ng timber yung kanyang allowable stress na 1,200 PSI, what is the value of stress of steel? The value of stress of steel is equal to 23,200 PSI. Dahil na-exceed ng steel yung allowable stress na given sa problem, therefore, not okay. Using this equation again, or kaya ito, pero mas prepared ko na gumamit na lang ng isang equation all throughout my solution, Ano naman yung magiging value ng stress ng timber kapag unang na-reach ng steel yung kanyang allowable stress na 20,000 PSI? Ang nakuha natin stress ng timber is 1,034.48 PSI. Dahil mas mababa yung stress ng timber na nakuha natin compared sa allowable stress na given sa problem, therefore, okay yung section dahil wala siyang na-exceed na kahit anong allowable stress doon sa condition na binigay sa problem. Kaya naman, ang i-adapt natin na condition ay kapag naunang na-reach ng steel yung kanyang allowable stress na 20,000 PSI. And at that condition, ang stress ng timber is equal to 1,034.48 PSI. Dahil merong steel plate sa lahat ng face or side ng column, therefore, yung center of gravity nitong steel plate is coincide sa center of gravity ng timber column. Ang magre-resist nitong given na 300 kips na compressive load is yung force ng steel at yung force ng timber. Sa given na compressive force P na 300 kips, yung kips ang ibig sabihin nun is kilo pound. Kaya yung 300 kips is also equal to 300,000 pound. By applying summation forces vertical, 300 kips is equal to the force of steel plus force of timber. P is equal to PST plus PT. Same ng naon ng problem, dahil stress yung values na meron tayo, gamitin natin yung formula na stress is equal to force over area, force is equal to stress times area. The force of steel is equal to the stress of steel times area of steel, force of timber is equal to the stress of timber times area of timber. P is equal to 300,000 pound, force of steel is equal to the stress of steel times area of steel, stress of steel is equal to 20,000 PSI, Area of steel is equal to 8 times thickness, kaso apat yung steel plate natin, kaya times 4. 
Force of timber is equal to the stress of timber times area of timber. The stress of timber is equal to 1034.48 psi multiplied by area of timber is equal to 8 inches by 8 inches. Kapag sinimplify yung equation na nagawa natin, eto yung equation na makukuha natin at ang makukuha nating value ng T or ng thickness ng steel plate is 0.365 inches. Problem number 236. A rigid block of mass M is supported by three symmetrically spaced rods as shown. Each copper rod has an area of 900 mm squared, modulus of elasticity is 120 gigapascal, and the allowable stress is 70 megapascal. The steel rod has an area of 1,200 mm squared, modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal, and the allowable stress is 140 megapascal. Determine the largest mass M which can be supported. Sa problem na to, ang hinahanap natin is yung mass nitong block na kung saan hindi mo pwedeng i-exceed yung mga allowable stresses ng copper at ng steel. Ilagay natin yung weight ng block sa gitna. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. Dahil sa weight nitong block, magkakaroon ng deformation or ng shortening sa copper at ng steel. Sabihin natin na ito yung magiging final position ng block. The deformation of copper is also equal to the deformation of steel. I-substitute natin yung formula ng deformation sa equation na nagawa natin. Stress of copper times length of copper over modulus of elasticity of copper is equal to the stress of steel, length of steel, over modulus of elasticity of steel. Ang gusto kong bigyan ng emphasis dito, hindi ngunit dalawa yung copper rod, ay imumultiply na natin sa 2 yung kanyang deformation. Ang pinagkocompare kasi natin sa equation na to is yung numerical value lang ng copper at ng steel, regardless kung gaano kadami yung steel or yung copper. By substituting the given values sa equation na to, stress of copper times length of copper, 160 mm, Modulus of elasticity of copper, 120 gigapascal or 120,000 megapascal, is equal to the stress of steel times length of steel, 240 mm, over modulus of elasticity of steel, 200 gigapascal or 200,000 megapascal. At ang magagawa nating equation is the stress of steel is equal to 10 over 9 ng stress ng copper. Repeating the process na na-explain ko na sa mga naon ng problem sa video na to, when the stress of copper is 70 megapascal, what is the stress of steel? The stress of steel na makukuha natin is 77.78 megapascal, which is less than the allowable stress of steel na 140 megapascal, therefore, okay yung section. I-check naman natin kapag naunang na-reach ng steel yung kanyang allowable stress na 140 megapascal. The value of the stress of copper is 126 megapascal, which exceeds the allowable value for copper na 70 megapascal. Therefore, not okay kasi na-exceed niya yung allowable stress per copper. Kaya ang i-adapt natin ang stress per copper is 70 megapascal and per steel is 77.78 megapascal. Kasi hindi pwede mag-exceed yung value ng stress dun sa allowable stress na given sa problem. I-drawing ko naman ngayon yung free body diagram nitong block. At ang mga forces na mag a block ay yung kanyang own weight which is equal to mg, the force of copper, and the force of steel. By applying summation forces vertical is equal to zero, weight is equal to PCO plus PST plus PCO. Weight is equal to MG equals 2 PCO plus PST. Katulad na ginamit ko na formula sa previous problem sa video na to, force or P is equal to stress times area. Mass unknown, G is equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. PCO is equal to the stress of copper times area of copper. The stress of copper is 70 megapascal. Area of copper, 900 millimeter squared. PST is equal to the stress of steel times area of steel. The stress of steel is equal to 77.78 megapascal. And the area of steel is equal to 1,200 millimeter squared. Dahil mass lang ang unknown sa equation na to, the value of mass is equal to 22,358.41 kg. This is the value of the mass of the block without exceeding the allowable stress per copper na 70 megapascal and stress of steel na 140 megapascal.